My friends John Kimber is here. This is our uh, Tupperware stack cooker, one of my most favorite easy things to cook burger and things in. Um, this is the colander that sits in the smaller piece, and here's the bigger piece and the lid. I am using this right now to do um, burger and some um, sausage. So I actually got about three pounds in there. Best thing to do is put your burger in there, kind of chop it up, and um, take out the middle piece. And then we're going to put it in the microwave for five minutes and stir it up and put it in for another five minutes. And we should be about done cooking our burger effortlessly. Okay, our first five minutes in the microwave is done. So let's mix it up and put it in for another five is what I like to do. So this is three pounds in 10 minutes. And what that is doing, that colander is draining all that juice. So I have two pounds of ground organic beef, grass fed, I guess, beef and one pound of sausage in here for our pasta and you might be able to tell it's just still a little pink in some areas because i have three pounds um two pounds a burger works great for 10 minutes i'm going to only put it in the since it's three pounds for another two minutes and it should be so perfect. nothing goes better with um our cooked hamburger then maybe some spaghetti. So we got some spaghetti in our Tupperware spaghetti dispenser or two servings. Um, but we're gonna make spaghetti for the family and we're gonna use our Tupperware uh, pasta maker. It's super easy. It comes in two pieces and it has a strainer at one end and the lid then has this nice Tupperware arrow to tell us that this is where we want to put the lid when we're ready to strain. Two, um, and the water level. So you never want to fill it up past the max water level when you put your spaghetti and water in there. So we're gonna put our spaghetti in, our water in, and we're gonna put this in the microwave. You can do it covered or uncovered. I've done it both ways for 10 minutes, hands-free. You're able to um, make your spaghetti effortlessly and perfect every time in the Tupperware pasta maker. So it's fantastic. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got our pasta and our water and we got it at the max fill line. The biggest thing is that you want to make sure with any of your Tupperware stuff um, that it's covered so that the water is covering the pasta. And this is more than a, just a box of pasta. It's more like the jumbo box of pasta. So we are at the max for this and it's going to be 10 minutes in the microwave. Let's see. While we're talking about pasta, friends, this is the Tupperware number five oval. So it's the same height as the spaghetti dispenser. I like to use this one, though, to put my extra spaghetti in and my lasagna noodles. So this fits perfect for spaghetti and lasagna. So don't forget about the number five oval. In So I got the Tupperware can opener, opening my beans, put my can opener and lift, lift that up so I don't even have to feel the, the edges and there's no sharp edges. So perfect. So then I take my green beans and I put them in my vent and serve. You can season them up if you want to. Close your vent and serve. Make sure this little top is popped. It'll be heated up deliciously in two minutes. What's next? While my pasta was cooking, I made a little chef or uh, Caesar salad, excuse me, in my that's a junior bowl with my Tupperware salad tongs. So that'll be ready for the fam. 
So I got my pasta out of the microwave. And so then I have my little colander and my pasta lid. Tupperware lets me know where the front should be. And it has these little handles so I can actually touch it and it's not gonna be that hot. All right. Then you can see perfectly done pasta. Mmm, al dente.